What's up guys and welcome back. We are going to make another lure today and I thought I'd do things a little bit differently. You know, uh, I got these little short shanked jig heads from Academy the other day and you know, I said, hey, let's make a lure that's just specially designed to fit a certain jig head. And what I've got in my mind, what I want to do, you know, I kind of want a little bit of a fatter body for this part. And I'm really going to narrow it down into a paddle tail here because I want a lure that is going to swim well and also have a lot of action when you're jigging it too. Okay. And so what better way to do that? Uh, you hear my lure, uh, my roosters in the background crowing. Uh, but what better way to do that than to just go ahead and custom make the lure for the jig head, all right? So let's just jump right in. Okay, I've got my piece that I'm gonna work with already kneaded out, softened up, limbered up so that I can work with it and shape it, all right? And I'm just gonna keep this handy for size reference as I go along, but Man, if you haven't seen my other videos, okay, I get this stuff at Michael's. I think you can get it at Walmart. I don't know. Um, it's just it's a polymer clay. It's uh, oven baked, hardened. So you just you can make anything out of this. You throw it in the oven, bake it for 15 minutes. It comes out hard as a rock, uh, you know. And that's what you use to make your lure mold out of. So anyway, I'm going to shut up. Speed the video up, put on a little bit of music. Y'all enjoy. Okay, guys, uh, that didn't take too long, as you can see, even with the video, or especially with the video, speed it up. Um, so, see, when the jig head's all the way in here, it'll look like that. So, it's going to come slightly over halfway of the bulk of the body, and I've got it tapered up right here into a nice long tail. Comes out into a smaller size paddle, but I think that's gonna be enough to get us the action that we need. Um, you know, because it, it, it's so important, like when you've got, well, let's see, like one of these little dart minnows. You know, this jig head fits on here, and this is great. But when I fish this, it's just a twitch, twitch, twitch. It's going back and forth in the water, you know? That's its action, it's a dart and minnow. Then you got a lure like a uh, kakaho right here. It's got a nice swimming action to it, but not so much on the jig, you know. Uh, this is a smaller size hook than what I'd normally use on it. Um, but the further your hook goes back into that lure, you know, you're losing that action right there because it can't move because of the hook. So that's the, that's the, 
thought process behind making this like this. So I've got a short shank jig hook, which is still well into the body of the lure, but I've got a little bit of the body that's free from the hook. And I've got this nice long tail section right here. It's gonna give me good back and forth paddle action when I'm just retrieving it. And then whenever I'm jigging it, it's still gonna be long enough to get an action going there, okay? So we're gonna get this guy in the oven and then pour it. Well, then we'll make a mold out of it. Then we'll pour it and check it out. Anyway, guys, that's it. Really all there is to making a lure. I mean, it's as simple as that. See the little small piece of clay that I had out? I've still got this much left over and I've got a nice size jig here. So got a ton. I mean, I can make a few more lures out of this. This is only $1.79 for these little things. Super cheap, super easy to make your own lures. I mean, it really is. And it's super fun to do too, without a lot of uh, investment. I mean, you can get into this from scratch, from having nothing. And for under $50, you can make several different lures, several different molds. And uh, just the sky's the limit with it, guys. It's fun. It's really fun catching a fish on a lure that you made yourself. Anyway, that's enough of me talking. I'm going to put this in the oven, and then we'll be back with a mold. Okay, guys. We are back. I put this bad boy in the oven, got it nice and hardened up. And see if you can see here, I went ahead and with my little uh, razor blade, I, um, I put a notch there in the tail just to give it a little, what I think, it'll give it a little bit more tail action on it. And I uh, went ahead and got it framed up with the popsicle sticks. So that's ready. And then I've got my mold, my silicone, my two-part silicone here, my Lumalite. I've got it poured out equal parts, part one, part two, part A, part B. Uh, I'm gonna stir this till it's thoroughly mixed all uniform in color. All right, and I'm using the Alumalite stuff that I get at Michael's. And it's got a six minute work time, 30 minute demold time, and a 24 hour cure. So we're gonna let this cure for 24 hours before we check these guys out and see how they do. All right, got a lot of bubbles in there. Didn't mix it in my baby food jar on this one because I just got finished doing it for another one. Or for another video. And I didn't want to mix this in there, you know, because the other ones, they've already set for a while, so I didn't want to accelerate my work time. All right. I know you're like, what am I doing? I don't think the camera, you can see down in here, but... This thing was full of bubbles. I guess, I don't know. I just I stirred them in it. I was making bigger stirs uh, in this, you know, as opposed to this little baby food jar. I can't really move the popsicle stick stir too much. I guess I got a little carried away. All right, it looks like they're all out of there. So I'm going to stick this over here. All right, and I'll start up here from the head in this uh, one corner. And I hope I mixed enough. It just is a small mold and this lure takes up most of it. Well, not most of it, but a good bit of it. So hopefully it'll be enough, but if not, we can mix up another batch of it. Ooh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be so close. But I think I did it. I think I measured it right. Yeah, there we go. 
And I'm going all the way to the top of this mold too. We're gonna get every last bit of it in here. Cause I didn't have that much room to spare from the top of the popsicle stick to the tip of that tail. There's not much left in there now. We pretty much got it all. And then to clean my pots, once this dries, I'll just, it pulls right out of there, no problem. So we're gonna let this sit up for 24 hours and then we will demold it and make a lure out of it. We'll see you then. Okay, we are back 24 hours later. And let's see what kind of mold we got here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's looking nice. Looking nice. Yeah. And Man, I could immediately just pop another popsicle sticks right there, re-pour this and have another mold. But yeah, look at that guys. That looks good. That looks really good. All right. Get just a couple little stray ends here. Trimmed off. Okay, I got some chartreuse and blue mixed up. So let me go pop that in the microwave and then we're gonna pour this and see how it comes out. All right. I'm going to put a little bit of red glitter into this chartreuse. And then we'll do a little bit of blue glitter a little bit of silver glitter into the blue. That looks good. Messed up my glitter. Gotta get them mixed up in there. There we go. This thing's gonna come out great, I can tell already. All right. Yeah, it's gonna look great. All right, let's let this cool off. I'm gonna stick these back in the microwave and then we'll pop this mold out, make a couple more. Let's see what we got here.
let that cool, pop these back in the microwave, and I'm gonna hit this with the heat gun to shine it up. And then we'll get a good look at it, maybe put the jig head in it. All right, you can see, I'm sure already, the difference that that made just by taking the heat gun and putting it over there and clearing that up, getting that haze off of it. If not, you can definitely tell the difference between these two. All right, we'll get one more poured in there. really like this color combination. Yeah, good. This electric blue would really put in color. All right, let that cool there. Stick these back in the microwave. I think I can get one more pour out of these. Those are back in the microwave. And just real quick. Man. This one's had the heat gun on it. It's nice and shiny. Looking great. Look at that. Look at the action on that tail, guys. Oh, this is going to be killer going through the water. It's the little notch that I put in it right there. Yeah, that's going to be great. This is going to have some action to it. Jigging and swimming. Can't wait to test that out. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm happy with this. I'm very happy with this. So, all right. Let me go clean this up. We'll pop this out. I'll pour another one, and then we'll go ahead and put a jig head in there and see what it looks like. All right, guys. Looks like this is going to do it. I got one more poured. And I got these guys cleaned up, the jig head. I went ahead and put in one of them so you can see what it looks like with it. And man, it looks good. I like this color combination. Really liking the action on this tail. Um, we're gonna get some good swim action on it. Definitely some good jig action here. And I cannot wait to go fishing with this thing and use it. Just check it, uh, check it out in action. So I wanna thank you guys for watching the video. Like it subscribe. I would appreciate it greatly. And until next time, tight line.